This is my iPad Mini 6. It's an adorable device and I definitely don't regret buying it. But should you buy one in 2022? Let's find out. So speaking of the design, this iPad features the new all display design with very small bezels which are just about the right size to comfortably hold the iPad. It's also completely flat on both the sides and back on which you can find a protruding camera lens. On the 5G model, which you're just seeing, there are many antenna bands and I don't think they look bad at all. In fact, they make the design look a bit more sophisticated. Fun fact, the antenna bands are all made of plastic retrieved from the ocean. The recycled aluminum chassis comes in four colors in which starlight, pink, space gray and purple. This is definitely a good looking device. Next up, the 8.3 inch display is also pretty great. It's a laminated liquid retina display with the usual pixel density of 326 pixels per inch. It also has support for P3 color gamut and true tone. One thing I have to say is that this screen is not that bright at only 500 nits. It's not quite as bright as I would want in sunny days. It also only has a 60Hz refresh rate, which is not that big of a deal, I just thought I had to mention it. And it also has a bit of jelly scrolling, where one half of the screen refreshes a little slower than the other. For content consumption, web browsing and drawing, this display is perfectly usable. Speaking of content consumption, the stereo speakers sound very nice. There are four grills, but only two of them are actually speakers, so they work in stereo only in landscape mode. They're very loud and balanced considering the size of the device. Powering all of it is a 5000 mAh battery, which lasts about 10 hours of video playback or web browsing. It usually lasts me 3 days with moderate use. This iPad is still pretty new though, so I don't know how the screen on time will be affected by battery degradation. So this iPad can really go through a full day of productivity tasks. And another thing that makes this a true productivity machine is the Apple Pencil second generation. With very little latency, drawing and writing on this iPad is just amazing. And if you install a matte screen protector, it will really feel like you're drawing on paper. Looking at the I.O., this iPad features a USB-C port, which is pretty convenient as it's both very fast at charging and data transferring, but it's also became the standard port nowadays and many other devices you might have use it. Another thing that's very convenient is the new Touch ID built into the power button. Of course it's extremely fast as usual, but it's also in a perfect spot making unlocking this iPad super easy. The camera modules on this iPad are also very interesting. The back camera has a 12 megapixel sensor, can shoot at 4K 60fps and it's just about the same camera you can find in an iPhone 8, so it looks very good, although I doubt there is people taking pictures with their iPad. What's more interesting is the front facing camera, which is also a 12 megapixel sensor and can shoot at full HD 60, but compared to the rear camera it has a field of view of 120 degrees, so it has support for center stage. With this feature the iPad can automatically move the framing based on where you are or if other people join the video call. This is also all thanks to the new a15 Bionic processor, the same one of the iPhone 13 Pro. All apps and tasks are crazy fast and it's almost impossible to get any sort of lagging on this iPad. It will for sure handle without any problem any game you can find on the App Store. And since this iPad has the newest Apple processor, it will get software updates for many years. And speaking of software, this iPad is running iPadOS 15. iPadOS 15 brings multitasking to the next level and especially makes it easier. As in previous versions, it was kind of a mess. It now also has support for widgets on the home screen. You can open quick notes from the bottom right corner and have all the new features in FaceTime. So overall there is nothing to complain about with this 6th gen iPad mini. And what in my opinion makes this the perfect iPad is its versatility. It's the perfect size to do everything everywhere. I can watch videos at home or read a book at the beach and even take notes in class with the Apple Pencil. And the cool thing is that it can basically fit in your pocket while with any other iPad you would have to use a backpack. So for me this iPad is a crazy good deal so if you can find one in stock buy it and I'm sure you'll like it. You'll probably not be able to find one as the one I've ordered two months ago still hasn't showed up but luckily I was able to find one at an Apple store. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video please like and subscribe and consider watching some of my other videos and more importantly, have a great day.